What's going on guys? It's Temptation and welcome to the real battlefield. Man, it has been a long time since I've played this game. If you don't know what it is, uh, this is Battlefield 2142. Oh, what the heck? Okay, there we go. Um, and man, Select it is... Your army and oh, kit dang it. By clicking the buttons on the left... Oh, did I really just... Dang it. See, this is how long this is how long it's been since I played this, but I gotta turn this this uh, sound down. It's way too loud. Okay, all this can go down to like nothing. There we go. Much better. Okay, let's rejoin that server here. Oh, oh, never mind. I'm already in it. It just boots you out to the menu and reloads the map. So that's interesting. Man, what was I saying? Uh, this is Battlefield 2142. Uh, I was getting a little bit of nostalgia for it, almost. Um, and so, uh, you know, I figured I would, uh, figured I would pop in here and, uh, play it. Um, let's see, what should I get here? Let's get that. Always get that. And, you know, heavy body armor. Don't need it. I'm a pro. <laughs> okay. This is the game that started it all for me in Battlefield. Um, oh, gosh. This guy. Um, but I started this game a long time ago. Um, and man, that's just still one of my favorite games. I haven't played it in forever, and I'm going to have to get reused to it. Um, but it's, it's an awesome game, and they're going to blow me up, aren't they? They're definitely going to blow me up. Um... Obviously, if you if you never played Battlefield 2142, I'll give you a quick synopsis. Um, it's basically set in the year 2142, so a hundred years basically in the future. And um, you can see how this guy's gonna. Oh no, he's not. Okay, but now basically, it was set in the future. And this game, and man, I hate those tooltip things. Um, but it was a, uh, I guess that you could call it a sequel of Battlefield 2. I wouldn't necessarily call it a sequel. I would call it more of um, an aside, almost. I don't know what you would call it. Um... But, let's make sure, oh crap, <laughs> oh wow, man that scared me, <laughs> let's, uh, let's make a new squad here, oh I didn't want to spawn there you dumbo, <laughs> but basically what I was saying is I just, um, it's a cool game. Battlefield 2, basically a little bit revamped, set in the future. And uh, I actually like it a lot better than Battlefield 2, to be honest. Not that I've played it that much, but I definitely like it better than Battlefield 2. So there's somebody over here. Or was over here. There is explosives, and that's for sure. But basically, this mode here, those are just EMP grenades, so I'm not going to worry about those right now. Um, thank you, sir. Um, this game mode, um, let me place this up here. And there we go. Captured the silo. This game mode, you see these two big looking things up there? Those are the Titans. The goal of the Titans are to uh, 
Those are, that's like your flying base, basically. That's your uncap. Until it gets further along in the game. So, basically, for that, your goal is to destroy the enemies. And uh, you do that many different ways, and I just failed at that. Um, but these silos, these missile silos, you capture them. And um, the more you capture, the more you damage their shield. Um, you can see up at the top. Uh oh. You can see up at the top here. Run. Um, you can you can see up at the top of the screen. One, two, three, four, five. Those are the silos. Gives you like an active report on them, if you will. And um, so basically, you capture these. Um. Oh man, I haven't flown one of these in forever. And I just died. That was fail. Um, I'm going to spawn back at the base so we can get something good here. Um, but you capture these and they shoot off every so often and destroy the enemy's titan shield, which you can see up at the top as well. Um, two main factions in the game. They are the Pan-Asian Colossian, which I am now. Obviously, Asians. Um, that's the green up at the top. And then the red and orange is the um, the EU or the European Union. So something that's currently around today. Um, that's what that is. Now, these vehicles are obviously futuristic, as you can see. Um, this is like a hovering tank almost. They're, they're really cool vehicles. That's one of the best parts about this game. It's a vehicles. Um, but, uh, so what was I saying? I don't even remember. But I'm going to see if I can kill somebody here. Real quick. Boom! Come on, dog. Shoot this thing. Powie! Man, I bet that was loud. Did I kill it? Nope, didn't kill it. Okay, let's get it right on target. Not, I didn't get it. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and. Sp what an idiot! Ha! <laughs> Sucks to be him. Okay, let's uh, let's put an order here. Can I get an order? Can I put an order? You used to be able to put orders on these things. I don't, maybe I'm just dumb. It's probably that's probably what it is actually. Okay, dog. You get off of me. He's, now, see. Uh, what he's throwing at me right now, these are imp grenades. Um, they basically disable your vehicle. And um, they make it to where you can hardly move. You probably know what EMP is. Uh, electromagnetic pulse. That's basically disables electronics. And since it's in the future... That's basically their, um, you know, if you take out their electronics, you basically got nothing left. Um, so that's what that is. Um, yeah, we'll accept that. Alright, so we are in the APC right now. Assault Personnel Carrier. Man, I just realized how much I missed this game. Uh, this has a secondary fire of EMP grenades, a primary of machine gun, obviously, as you can see. I'm not doing too bad. Get away from me. And now those are EMP balls. Um, they actually track your vehicle if you get close to them. They actually track your vehicle and lock onto it. So the more you move, the, actually, the more they... Come on, dog. I, got, I can't go there right now. Um, they follow you and they, they do damage as well. They don't just disable you. So let's go around here to this point. Only thing about this game, fences. Can't do it. Can't run through the fences. Just sad. We are losing right now, so we got to take some silos. Brute force here. Got to take some crap. 
Come on, dog. Let's get in here. Kill some people. Kill some noobs. Link up there. Oh, I'm just missing him. Just missing him. It's a little ridiculous. Come on, deactivate. Uh, I'm not going to deactivate it in time. Because it, I'm deactivating it. And what's happening? Am I crashing? Nope, I'm not. That was a fail. Powie! Um, now I'm redoing this, and it's still going to our Titan. So, obviously didn't deactivate it in time. But that's the goal. Did, did, did Really? Yep. Yeah, that was not good. Okay. Let's see. I know I can't I can't be revived right now, guy. Oh. Yeah, we are about to die big time here. Now is the time you start you start gu guarding your Titan, I should say. Um they never did quite fix the Titans. Um they're very difficult to run on. They're very glitchy. Especially up here. Um, you can hear the footsteps. It's a very glitchy. These are shields. Can't shoot through them. Hear it? Um, so these are activated and deactivated as the enemy team comes in. Now since our shields are about to go, and I feel like I'm just jumping all over the place with these um, this topic. But, you know, I might as well. Um, got it. I'm going. I'm going. Just wanted to give a quick tour to the new people. And if you've already played 2142, I'm sorry I'm re-explaining everything, but I uh, had to do it, you know? Okay, so what I'm going to do now, these are little launch pods. Can hop in these things. Shoot it out. And these things are pretty awesome. You can get all the way to the point, basically, in them. So that's an APM. That's an... Ah. Oh, APM. I just noticed that. That's basically a Claymore. Is uh, what it would be equal to in modern times. But our Titan Shield's almost down. And we're going to have to... We're going to have to defend it. And this server is full. I've never seen such a full server. But it's happening. People are going to be starting to get on here. And we got to defend it. Okay. Um, now, okay. Let's see, where's this guy? He's probably already inside. To be honest. Um, now these people are going to jump onto the ship. And they're going to try to disable these terminals inside here. And I'm going to try to go in there. Right now. Let's take him out. So that was good. Um, people jump down in here through those tunnels. And these are basically these um, control stations, if you will. They shoot these and damage them. And these grant access to the core of the ship. That's basically what powers the ship. And they once they get in there, it's basically all over. They can get in there and tear your ship up um, so easily. They just, the, I mean, you can do C4, rocket launcher, whatever you want. And it's basically over once they get in there. So for right now, our goal is to try to defend our ship from this standpoint. Okay, see there's a beacon right there. People are spawning right here. See? So, and they just keep coming. See, look at them. Oh, crap. And I forgot about that. Those uh, LMGs have cooldown times, actually. 
But so I'm going to try to hop up here and destroy this beacon real quick. And you know, I uh, might be might, might keep this series going uh Yeah. I kind of enjoying it. I haven't played it in a while, so It's a little laggy, you know. So let's uh, throw a grenade over there. Maybe. I forgot all the numbers here. Nope, oh, that didn't work. That didn't work. It's time to kill some noobs. Come on. <laughs> oh, I forgot to mention, if they do land on your shield or go through it, they automatically die. So that's a little of an incentive not to, obviously. I right, see they're just, a bunch of them are just dying. Um, but, oh, yep. Yeah. They are take we're taking damage here. Okay, let's get this guy. This one guy just landed here. He put explosives. Oh, and that shotgun. Okay, um let's um let's get the GANs out. This is a shotgun here. And, uh, okay. Second thing we're gonna do, we're gonna get up on the roof here, kill some people, and then I'm gonna put down a little sentry drone, basically, is what it is. Easiest way to explain it. We'll put it right here. Oh, ho, ho, ho. bad. That was horrible. That was mean. That was so mean. Okay, I'm gonna s actually, you know what? Screw this. We're gonna go down and cap silos because we need to get their shield down. Okay, let's retarget this. Here we go. So key t key tactic here. Well, first, not to get killed by uh, that thing. Uh, that's a gunship, kind of like a, a jet in Battlefield 3 would be, see if you will. Oh, and we're dead. Great. Let's just keep moving here. See if we can uh, keep the pressure on them. I forgot how much I miss this game. It's It's such a great game, you know. You just, it's, ah, uh, what the poop. APM mine. Sad face. It's just such a great game. I feel like I, I need to get back into this. Uh, and older, even some some different games. Um, Because they are. They seem like they're so much better. Uh, it's <laughs> kind of plain. But they seem so much like more nostalgic. So much more simple to use so much more simple to play um, and I'm pretty sure they can blow up this stuff get out of here oh crap nope that was not good I can heal you no thanks. Um, so basically you can see here Roots of Battlefield 2. If you haven't played any other Battlefield games besides Battlefield 3 or maybe this is the first one you've watched. Um, they've taken a lot of key concepts from that and kind of perfected them. The command rows as you see in Battlefield 3 uh, I feel like they is so much better in 2142 like big difference uh, 
Um, it is a big difference, and I'm going to hop in this one over here. So we have two of them. Um, but yeah, I feel like 2142's command rows is so much better. Just in general. Mucho. We got enemies here. Oh, come on, I put on my shield. That's ridiculous. Put on my freaking shield. Yeah, I... One thing I, I do not miss about this game is all of the people yelling at the same time. That's what I don't... Oh, he's going to jihad. Sorry, dude. Go ahead. So he's got the C4 on it there. Um, ah, here we go. What do they do? You can try to hit these things with the EMPs and it'll disable them and sometimes even shoot them out of the sky. Oh, holy crap. Suck it. Roadkill. Haha. <laughs> That's right. Here we go. We're still going to lose, but hey, it's worth a try, right? Hmm. Sorry, I'm getting a little concentrated here. Got some. We got some. Oh, crap. Run! Run! Hope we can make it up this. Nope, can't make it. We could. Nope, we can't make it. Can't make it. Ah, we did shoot that. We did get the heli, though. But we died. Oh my gosh. We really need to take some points here. I don't think it's going to work. Yeah, it's not going to work. We're, it's, we're too far into this. For anything to happen which kind of sucks but what are you gonna do or did they see me hope they didn't see me crap they saw me <laughs> holy crap that's sad uh, now, one thing that you will miss in Battlefield 3 from 2142 in the older Battlefields is the commander. You can see up at the top here the commander. And what the heck? <laughs> oh, that's great. We're about to... Uh, yeah, he wants us to defend that, so let's go back. Um, but the commander... And let's, uh, let's attack some, some stuff here. Uh, the commander can move the Titan on some servers. It's, uh, the thing they've done is the servers on 2142 are a lot better too. They're more controlled by the owner as opposed to EA. Um... So, I'm um, way too concentrated right now to say anything, actually. Um, but the commander is basically in charge of doing airstrikes, things like that, that support the team. So, that guy should have died. But we're about to be dead here so you know gotta do what you gotta do oh crap but I want you to see this Titan 
from the inside, maybe, if we can. Because it's about to go down. So let's see if we can. Yep, here we go. So I'm going to go inside and see if you guys can see it from the inside. It's a really cool experience uh, when the Titan blows up. Everybody tries to run. And it's just really cool. So let's go up to Sector 4. Because they can't come in here. Oh. So we're about to lose really bad. Oh, I got him. Suck it. But it's too late. We're already done. Their shield isn't even down. It's recharging. It's recharging. They're going to stay on here till the last minute when it starts to blow up. And then they're going to run off. Countdown that happens is really cool too. I mean, I just wish they had something like this in, in Battlefield 3. Or they, they had a game mode, a Titan game mode in it. I mean, I, that'd be awesome. But it looks like they're about to blow up Terminal 2 here. I'm just going to chill out. Oh, yeah, here it goes. See it? It's starting to go. It's starting to happen. It's going to happen. I want you to see this. If it starts to go here. We got one more missile probably and it'll do it. Didn't get to see the big fight in the middle here, but definitely something pretty cool. Okay, come on now. One more missile. There it goes. See it? Look at it. Starts to blow up. Everybody starts running. Last minute kills. Everybody tries to kill the, the enemy team before they get off. And here you go. You jump off. Yay, you live. You deploy your chute. It's just a... I mean, it's so cool. And then it just blows up. Just like that. I mean, it's a little fake, but it's still great. Great game mode. Alright, guys. Well, I hope you enjoyed this little episode of Battlefield 2142. If you want me to keep it up, leave a like down below and maybe a comment saying what else you would like to know about the game. Or, you know, even if you want to play with me, you can add me on here. You see my username right there. I got room on my friends list, so... Go ahead, add me. Maybe we can play a few rounds. But anyways, guys, thanks for watching one more time. This is Temptation, and I hope to see you soon.